Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Evangelism, Sharing Good News. And our scripture is Acts chapter 8. But the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. Dr. Don L. McCutcheon Sr. is a longtime friend and fellow laborer in Christ. Some years ago, Dr. McCutcheon retired from the North Carolina Baptist Convention where he served as director of evangelism. I could tell you a lot about Don and his loving spirit, laughter, and lifetime commitment to sharing Christ with others. This time, allow me to have our youngest daughter, Carrie, tell it from the pew where she sat as a 16-year-old as Don preached in our church. Quote, Had a great evening catching up with an old friend and meeting his mother. He and his sweet wife, Kathy, have been special to my family for many years now. I won't say exactly how many because that would tell my age. But I'll say as a teenager, I took detailed notes from the pew as Pastor Don McCutcheon preached to the youth about dudes and dudettes. <laughs> you gotta love a preacher who elevates youth as dudes and dudettes. Well, I preached this past Sunday on the importance of evangelism for the church and that it is each individual member of the church's responsibility to be involved. I asked Dr. McCutcheon to send me a few words about what evangelism has meant to him, after appropriately reminding me just how difficult it is for a Baptist preacher to write a few words about anything. He sent me these few paragraphs about sharing the good news. I just want to share them with you. This is what he wrote. Having been raised in a non-churched family, I thought and was taught that if I were good, I certainly would go to heaven. When I heard the gospel, I realized the error of my worldview and the truth of the biblical worldview. After conversion, I realized how many did not understand the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God helped me to see through the scriptures, especially John 3.16, that his great love moved him to send his only begotten son to die for our sins and give us eternal life. Our response to that love calls us to turn from and confess our sins to him and trust and follow him completely with our lives. Matthew 28, 19-20 reveals the command for all Christians to love, witness, and disciple all people to Christ and teach them to follow him as Lord. Evangelism is the highest form of Christian love and obedience as the goal is for people to come to be born again to know and to follow our Lord and Savior. The greatest gift you could ever give anyone is the opportunity to know Christ and have eternal life. The most heartbreaking and unending regret Christians will have in heaven are the ones with whom we did not even try to share the gospel. I took his commands personally and seriously. I believe the agape love of God in John 3.16 clearly proclaims he loves us. Secondly, the will of God is that none should perish, which happens to all who do not know him, but that all should come to him through repentance, as communicated in 2 Peter 3.9. I should be doing all I can to love, pray for, and verbally witness to those who do not know him and face an eternity separated from him. It is never easy to share the gospel, but it is so important to our families, friends, neighbors, work associates, and all people to hear God's way of salvation. Ask God's Holy Spirit to give you courage and strength to witness, and then watch Him work through you. End of quote. For you today, my friend is one of those believers who joyfully shares Jesus wherever he goes. For any follower of Christ, preacher or not, man, woman or child, that is what should be the heart of our following, being ready and being willing to share the good news. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.